What's going on, you guys? Welcome to Kick Out or Get Out with your host, Jiu-Jitsu Joey, part of Deep Six Wrestling. For more information about Deep Six Wrestling, like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. Thank you. So this week, I wanted to talk about Seth freaking Rollins. Okay, so flashback to Saturday where he retweeted uh, WWE's advertisement of Stomping Grounds and said, best pro wrestling on the planet, period. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's, you know, it's fine. So the next day, fast forward, um, it happened, he tweeted again after the Cruiserweight Triple Threat match um, that took place on the pre-show during Stomping Grounds and said, doubling down, best pro wrestling on the planet, period. And then his own ego came into the mix and said that nobody could do this as good as I can or better, blah, 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 blah. So, this is where this pettiness came from this petty feud between him and Will Ospreay. So Will Ospreay simply tweeted back at him two words, I'm alive. That's it. Well, that's all it took for Seth freaking Rollins to find offense in that or, you know, just completely go off the hook. Um, so... He tweeted back at Osprey and was like, um, calm down, little guy. There's a better wrestler here in the U.S. named, like a better version of you named Ricochet. So he brought Ricochet into it. Um, so Will Osprey went back at him and was like, well, I wrestled more matches than you in 2019, blah, blah, blah. So they went back and forth. Wrestling writers got into the mix, and it just turned up to be a huge pity party, and like of who's better, and blah blah. And it was just, it's petty. It's super petty on Seth Rollins' part. Um, I love Seth Rollins. He is definitely one of my favorite wrestlers, and he is definitely one of the greatest wrestlers in the world. But to say that he's the best, um, overboard because there is definitely a bunch of wrestlers better than him um and just because he works for wwe doesn't make him the best you know i mean i get that wwe is like the major leagues the you know big time but it doesn't mean that there's not better wrestlers than him um so seth come on man like there was no need to be this cringy and petty and I don't know how much Vince paid you to you know advertise all this on social media I don't know where this came from um obviously the competition with AEW is a real thing or they wouldn't talk about it because back then with TNA um they never talked about TNA barely because they didn't see them as competition well, obviously they see AEW as competition. Um, so, I just think it's it's Betty. I mean, because there's so many great wrestlers in the world, and for him to say that he is the best, pretty much that's what he said. He pretty much said that he was the best. Um, I mean, I'm not mad at him for feeling that way, per se, but to discredit other guys is what I have the issue with. So, in the comments below... Um, Tell me how you guys feel. Uh, was Seth Rollins just being super petty, or does he have a valid point? Um, all right, now, I want to talk about The Undertaker. The Undertaker, the phenom, the dead man. Um, so, he's magically back. Uh, he came out and saved Roman Reigns. I found that very strange. Um, I can see why he's back. Um, because supposedly he wasn't happy with his match with Goldberg. And maybe he just wants to redeem himself in another match. 
that's not against a leathery old man. Um, you know, they both are leathery old men. Um, but I think it can be okay. Um, I have no high hopes for this match, but I think with the talent of McIntyre and Roman and even Shane, uh, they can make the match look good because Taker doesn't have to do like a lot of things. He doesn't have to do everything. He just kind of has to like be there, you know, hit a tombstone, a choke slam. I mean, how hard can that be? I mean, I say that now, but looking back at Goldberg, him and Goldberg's match at Super Showdown, but it could be different because, like I said, it's not just him one on one with another old man. And I think it can really work out. Um, like I said, I have no high hopes for this match whatsoever. I do expect Roman and Taker to win the match. Um, I hope that this is Taker's last match. Because um, at this point, I think it is tarnishing his legacy. Rest in peace. I mean, the man's wrestled like 25 years plus. Um, has one of the best records ever. He was an icon for being undefeated at WrestleMania. Um, the guy's a legend, and he should just retire. Um, you know, he's gave this company everything. He doesn't owe them anything. Um, he just needs to enjoy retirement, enjoy life. You know, he has a wife, he has, a, he has kids. And I think he should just, you know, take it easy. Because um, I hate to see him like this, honestly, because it's getting pathetic at this point. But, you know, he should just relax. That's all he needs to do is relax. Um, so, Extreme Rules actually looks like it has a solid card. Super solid card. Um, I actually believe I will be attending Extreme full, uh, Rules since it is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I live pretty close to there. So... It might be worth checking out, buying tickets, and going, because like I said, it looks like it has a solid card. Um, so I'm excited for that. It would be my second pay-per-view ever, um, because I attended Money in the Bank back in May. Um, but it should be a good time, and I have high hopes for it. So, WWE... Actually, WWE, today, it came out, well, I'm filming this today, on Thursday, but it'll be Friday. Today, they announced that Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff would be running Raw and SmackDown. So, Paul Heyman on Raw, Eric Bischoff on SmackDown. Um, a lot of people are seeing this as, oh my god, Vince finally stepped down, Vince is finally handing the keys over. Nonsense. Stop it. That's not happening. There's no way that's happening. He's not going to just hand over the keys, especially to them. You know, if he's going to hand the keys over, it would be to, you know, one of his kids or Triple H. Um, so basically, I think Paul Heyman, that's great. Awesome, because Paul Heyman is a brilliant mind. Um, I'm a little worried about Eric Bischoff because of how he handled TNA and WCW. Um, I just don't want him to turn SmackDown Live into a shit show more than, you know, it has to be. Um, I just really don't have high hopes for Eric Bischoff, um, but I'm very optimistic about it. And I do have high hopes for Paul Heyman, because like I said, he's a brilliant mind. And we'll see how that all transpires and how it goes. So with that being said, um, if you like this video please 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 hit the like button and subscribe to us we really appreciate it and until next time ladies and gentlemen this is kick out or get out and to and remember keep kicking it